All right, Mr. Brady. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to introduce uh, for the record uh, a letter from the, the uh, Tea Party Patriots that talks about both strong support for this bill but makes the case that you're turning grassroots and average Americans who want to have a say in their government uh, to be highly regulated by the same IRS that's targeted them. Without objection, so ordered. You know, I think the darkest days of America's history has been when the government has tried to silence the voices of those who disagree them. And make no mistake, that's what the new IRS rules do. And whether it was the targeting of civil rights activists in the 60s, the anti-war protesters of the 70s, or the constitutional and Tea Party Americans of today, make no mistake, this is the government seeking to silence the voices of those who disagree with them. The only difference is the weapon of choice this time is the IRS, the one agency that has the power to destroy your family and your business. These rules were not uh, uh, created out of confusion. They were created, again, to lower government um, power onto average Americans who simply have a disagreement about which way this country should go. And so it is critical that we stop this. And I think whether you're Republican or Democrat, liberal, conservative, Tea Party, progressive, whatever you call it, you ought to be supporting this legislation because who does the government draw a target on in the future? And how much power will they have uh, to enforce their power on average Americans of any political belief? So this is incredibly important uh, for both parties and I think for every American who may or may not at some point in their life want to speak about, out about their government and the direction it's going. Mr. Bart, hold a question. The Inspector General did recommend some rules related to this area, but his focus was on the measurement of the social uh, welfare activities. Does the proposed new, and that's a big distinction from what this rule does, a major distinction from it. So does this proposed new rule provide any specific rules on how to measure social welfare activities? The, the proposed regulations do not address the issue of determining what's primary. So the recommendation from the Inspector General, who revealed the targeting in the first place, isn't even present in this rule. Is that correct? Uh, again, you're correct. It doesn't address the measurement issue. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You'll